and learn how to use the Pythagorean theorem to find distance because the distance formula is just the Pythagorean theorem. I've given you the triangle PIG and we're going to find not only the distance of each side but also we're going to find the perimeter of pig. Okay, well the vertical side, which is IG, is very easy to find the distance of. All you need to do is count the blocks. So I'm going to count from I to G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8 units long. Then I'm going to find the distance from P to G. Again, this is a vertical or horizontal line, so it's nice and easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this side is 6. Now I need to find the distance of PI. Well, since this is set up already, you can see that we have a right triangle. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem using A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's go down and write our formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where A and B are the two legs that we know. So that's going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared. And we're going to set that equal to c squared. Well, 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. And that's equal to c squared. So that's 100 equals c squared. And then to undo a square, we take the square root of both sides. So c has to be 10. That means our side pi measures 10. Not all of them will come out nice and neatly like that, but this one did. Now, if we need to find the perimeter, how do you find the perimeter of any triangle? Well, you add the three sides. So I'm going to take 6 plus 8 plus 10. 6 and 8 is 14, plus 10 is 24. So that means the perimeter of the triangle is 24 units long. Hope this video was helpful to show you how you can draw a right triangle in and find the distance just using the Pythagorean theorem.